On Thursday the 1st of March, a community group called Ohario People's Power held a public meeting where they appointed a Citizens Select Committee. This committee will be hearing submissions on both the asset sales debate and the trade agreement known as the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement, the TPPA. My name's John Maynard, I've lived in the electorate 38 years and I've um, agreed to be part of the select committee because I feel strongly like other people here and I want to help people have a voice. So what we want to do is have a group of about three or five people who will hear and read through the submissions that we're going to invite from people in the electorate or from anywhere else. We're asking people to write, if they do, up to 200 words, just like a letter to the editor. So when the committee is looking at that submission... Yeah, well, for me, the really important thing is picking up on this very strong opposition to the sale of state assets in the electorate and through the country and discovering the traps in the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement that could mean any partial sale is going to be undermined by the international treaties that we don't even get to vote on. And the second thing was because the government has refused to have a select committee hearing into the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement, and we learned about so many of the traps in it tonight, then we wanted to set up our own citizen select committee to hear submissions. Probably quite unique and quite historic, and also bringing the democratic process more closely to the people. Well, I think we both feel very strongly that we have to learn as New Zealanders, and we have to learn as a country how to invest in ourselves and in our own country, in our own future, in our own development. Uh, and when we can start to learn to do that, then we're going to have a great future. But at the moment, uh, it's just like I said in a little haiku that I wrote a while ago, New Zealand, as countries go, it went. <laughs>